Yep. Yep. <laughs> Alright, that was almost a catastrophe. Okay, kayak on the roof. Uh, okay. Man, that was a mission. Alright. Put these on. Yeah, looking good. Get the lock racks in. That way the kayak won't fly from the highway. Or the driveway. Looking good. Got the new beast. And we're ready for our road trip down to Sydney. Oh, no, I should have brought a beer, you're right. Uh, all right, we made it to Sydney. Got a friend coming and meeting us on the boat, just down at Four Clues, so it'll be nice to have a bit of a flick around, maybe catch a squid, and uh, just have a nice family day. How you going, mate? Good. Yeah, good. <laughs> go, go, go. He's up around the, uh, he's getting, he's about the 12 PSI, he's got to get it to 15, and it gets pretty, pretty hard. <laughs> Keep going, man. <laughs> anyway. Jarvis will be the next stop, but if we get a, we might get a little video of uh, some squid. If we manage to get some squid, there's usually some squid, so we'll have a bit of a flick around and hopefully kick off at least one video of the road trip. Anyway, we did a car reshuffle. Yeah. Oh, apart from this board. Who put the surfboard in, Lizo? Me. <laughs> That's not correct. Anyway, yeah, squid. Anyway, what do we got? Uh, it was a message. I'm assuming that might be Mark telling us this. Leaving Rose Bay now. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, I'll be here right. soon. It's just around the corner, yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Tackle. Well, I'll spread out him. Just I know, it's actually a lot of hard work. Yeah. It's fun though. He looks like he's having a fun until I knock him off and he skids across the sand yeah. and he cries. Sorry. And I look like the worst dad. <sighs> you and you. Alright, not you. <laughs> Can't imagine I'm going to get for more than one anyway. Let's just leave this stuff here. Alright, let's set up. Just going to wait till Fox wakes up and we can go and cruise on down and have a cast. I'm gonna lose that then. Yeah. Loving this car, man. So much more room than anything I've ever had. It's so good. <laughs> Just waiting for this little fella to wake up and then we're good to go. Just catching a quick nap. And then we'll get down there. Hmm? You up? Yeah, here, yeah, let's jump out. Yeah, I'll... Yeah, we got a fishing rod here. Yeah. Oh. Alright, let's catch a squid and have some lunch. Catch a squid. Tinnies. Cool at all the tinnies, Foxy. Yeah, I'm gonna put you down, you can walk the rest of the way. There's Dash out there. He's doing a good job. Look, he's almost at the boat. Oh, is that is he uh, coming out on another board? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Look, Dash is about to stagger. Yes! Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, There's a big yellow one. I'm on the under. Is it actually on, is it? Oh, it is on. Great. Don't use it all, though. Yeah. That side, this side. Uh, or that side. We've had better luck on that side, I think, yeah. before. Or maybe. Here we go. This is good. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Unfortunately, I missed all of that on the camera. But that was an epic start. <laughs> Maybe just sit, hey. <laughs> Funnily, Mark's actually probably the guy in this world that I've fished the most with since we were kids. Our parents are. This is a funny. Did he just fall in again? Did he just drop your rod? No, I took Donnie's rod. Oh, I took Donnie's rod from the back. <laughs> Smashing it. Anyway, we're just gonna have a flick up and down the uh, the walls here. And there's usually usually good for a couple of squid. Last time we did this, we got like maybe six or so. All right, look, he's ready. <laughs> How's it going? I reckon it's good for a flick, actually. Got the same Yozuri jig that we found last time we were down here. Last time we were just getting them on like the sand flats, weren't we? Last time we were just getting them on the sand as well. Yeah. How are some of these houses? Look at that one. Oh, you got one? Yeah, Mark. <laughs> oh, he's... It's not the biggest one, but <laughs> that's a squid. If there's one, yeah, let me get a shot of him, he's cool. <laughs> oh, look at all his ink. Oh, look at that squid, this squid you can squid. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he inked me. He inked you. He is cool. That's a pretty cool little squid jig, actually. Oh, there we go. He's hiding under the He's got a little bit of squid juice. <laughs> see if I can actually get one. Let's see if we can get one big enough to eat. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I wonder if he's bigger. Maybe they love the orange. Can you see him, can you? Yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's a fight. He's actually a proper fighting one. That one's a bit better. Oh, we got a proper squid. Oh, look, no, there's one chasing this in as well. Oh, just there. Yeah, the squid are on. Hey, buddy! Here you go, Foxy. Oh, we got one. We got one. We got it. Get it. <laughs> oh, he's got to let him let's get his ink out. Get your ink out, buddy. He's always a good looking one, isn't he? Where are you putting this one, John? Oh, here he goes. All right. No, I didn't bring anything. We, uh. Yeah, if you're too prepared. Pop the heads, yeah. Alright, sorry buddy, but you are coming home for a feed. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, look, he loses his colour as soon as you kill him, unfortunately. It's got to be done. And we will make a delicious feed from these guys. So, as cruel as it seems, that is the nature of it. There he is, I got him. <laughs> oh, look at big ink, big inky. <laughs> big inky. Oh, he's <laughs> angry, oh, he's like pointing at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, oh, he's let out quite a lot now. He's gonna, oh, he's still got it though. Look how much. 
Oh, I'm asking for it. Oh, 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 he's a good one. Oh, they are beautiful animals, but, but unfortunately very tasty. Get some of these ink off. Paddleboard's getting a pretty good ink, that's for sure. It's <laughs> serious looking live. Yeah. Far out. Well, that's Primo. So it's an Australian, Australian made lathe. It's a, it's actually a metal lathe, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna convert it. So you got all, like you got every amount of adjustments here for it. Yep. That are a little bit stiff, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, not for long. Like it's for, it makes full on spindles and stuff like that. But I'm gonna convert it and just use it for timber. Has this hidey hole yeah. set up perfectly. Mate, once you do get it going though, it's gonna be yeah. awesome. I don't like setup shots. They just sort of fit into any container you put them in as well. Here we go. Fresh squiddies. Not the biggest, but they'll be tasty. All right, so we're back. We've uh, come back the next day. I'm really lucky I got two good mates and they're both really good chefs. But then he went back and did his uh, building apprenticeship. So he's gonna do the squid and we're gonna cook them up for breakfast. So for the squiddies, you just want to, I usually just pop the, pop the beak out. Kind of just take that whole sort of, that eye bit off, you can't really use that. Yeah, I'll cover it with it. Um, so that's the legs, you probably don't really do much else to that. And then, in the hood, you want to, um, I just usually run the knife down there, down the middle. all the guts out you just want to you can use the sack like to put in your rice and stuff like that or or pasta but you don't want to rupture it because otherwise you get ink everywhere and then it <laughs> makes the whole cleaning process a little bit more tricky and then they got like, this bit of plastic this plastic thing in there. <laughs> yep and then pop the pop the wings off and then when you get the wings off, if you try and get, see there's that like, slime, if you try and get that all off at the same time, it makes it much easier. Your voice is too soft, Mark. You're going to have to speak up. <laughs> it's too deep and soft. Righto. So yeah, now, now you, <laughs> it's better. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got the hood. Yep. Now you got the hood, so you just want to bang it into sort of nice sized pieces like that. And if you just score it gently, score it gently this way and that. Like that, and then back across that way. Score it back across that way. So you've got you've got a nice little uh, crisscross pattern like that. And then when you when you throw it on the pan or on the barbecue, it'll curl up nicely. Beautiful. So that, that's how you do the hoods, and then the then the wings because they got this slime on them. You know, you don't you want to try and get all that off. So you just got to scrape the knife across them like that, and just get all that slime off. Might need to cut a little bit down through there, and you get a nice, nice clean wing like that. And then you can score that wing as well a little bit if you want. But sometimes I don't even bother with the wings because they're so small. And when it's when it's real fresh like this, it doesn't usually matter anyway. So that's it. They're the kind of three, three bits you use: the wings, the the body, and the legs. Beautiful. Yeah. Um when you when you're doing a few as well you want to just sort of do all the same bits at the same time so you take them all apart um, <laughs> yeah see that one the inks 
is burst Ink's open. exploded yeah. in there, so it gets a, <laughs> a little bit more, bit more messy when you do that, but not so bad. As long as you keep the, the tap close by, you can sort of just clean, clean as you go. What could go wrong here? Be careful, mate. Come on, just carry it up the stick, dude. <laughs> ah. Fox, that's a terrible idea, mate. <laughs> just get up the stairs first and then play with the ball. That one's a big one. I think I caught that one. I have no way. <laughs> I, mean, I, caught more. I caught more, though. You got a lot more. <laughs> yeah, a lot more, actually. You're doing a good job, man. Sorry. My whole life basically has consisted of me watching Mark do this <laughs> and then him getting cranky because I somehow managed to weasel out of gutting the fish again because <laughs> I just, I play the uh, you're better at than me because you're a chef card, but now he's not a chef, but now I'm filming, so <laughs> I got another excuse. <laughs> You... Or I'd do one, but I'd get through like one or two and he got through like six or seven at the same <laughs> speed, so... <laughs> Who do you get to do them on the Gold Coast run? Well, I've gotten quite good at it. You've got to do them yourself, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that there's the sack there. Oh, look, so. you just burst it open. Yeah, look how much ink. So, for all you savvy chefs out there, you can put that through your risotto and make a lovely squid ink risotto. Yeah, nice. I'll surprising how, because that, that sack was tiny then, and it's surprising how much ink this even squeezed out of it. And that's after the squid sort of inked quite a bit. When we had him in the water yesterday. Tuan, yes. don't get don't get this squid ink on your nice white dress. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say once. <laughs> and then just watch the fireworks. <laughs> look, at this, look at this rod. So if you just if you just rub the legs together and you get like it's kinda like when you do octopus, so you get like all this like the slime comes off them. Yep. So you just wanna rub that off. So when you when you cook them. They turn out a lot nicer if you get all that slime off. If you get all the slime off, yeah. Okay. So you just rub them, rub them in to get all that. And you can see it all coming off all that. Yeah, sort right. Of foamy stuff. See, I definitely wouldn't have done that. Yeah. Because it's a bit tricky to try and if you try, you can try and scrape it off with a knife, but it's yeah, yeah it's real it's tricky to get it all off. Yeah. So if you just rub them, rub them against themselves, yep. And it's sort of it, you, you can feel it. You can feel the slime coming off, and they become uh, much smoother. Cool. And if the old, if the old uh, missus isn't too keen on you doing this in her kitchen, you can always do it in the backyard with a hose. <laughs> a lot of guys say that actually. They're surprised that I'm always breaking down fish in the kitchen. But it's like, in my world, and I'm pretty sure in your world, like that's what the kitchen is for, right? Food preparation. Yeah, food preparation. Right. Like that's like, I get a lot, lots of guys saying, oh, the missus would kill me if I'm breaking that down. All right, the last piece. I did a good job. <laughs> Look at the plate. It's stacked with squid. All right, so we'll go for a forage up in the front. In every spare bit of dirt, rosemary, we've got some chili plants, parsley, uh, mint, more rosemary, bay leaf. So you'd, you'd be surprised where you can grow things. Yep. So we've got cucumbers out the front here. Ooh, we've got, there you go. Yeah, we've got wild sort of bush cucumbers. Um, continental cucumbers, and we've also got um, Lebanese cucumbers. Just a variety of the Lebanese ones. Nice. They get a bit hidey around underneath. So <laughs> you gotta, <laughs> you gotta really get the sneaky ones. Yeah. <laughs> got a nice shot of your armpit there, mate. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's a fig. We've got an olive here, so about to. They're about to be ready to pickle. I'll show you some later. The ones yeah, I've nice. done from last year. Yep. Got an avocado out the front there. Yeah. Strawberries as well. Nice some strawberries. And I want them to go to waste. Vietnamese mint. Um, yep. You know what? We might take a bit of that. We might put a bit through this chili squid. Been away for a couple of weeks, so the garden's got a bit out of control. Oregano. Got mint. And uh, spearmint. A bit of that. It's delicious. Just like that. Just yeah. smell it. Crush it up. Mm. Smell. 
Oh, it smells yeah. yummy. Yeah, look. You can eat it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? No, <laughs> no, good. <laughs> See ya, buddy. How's that, hey? Look at the amount, like it's amazing how much you've got. Like this is not a huge big veggie patch or anything. This is just around the house in just various parts at the front and even in any crack that's sort of available and look at the amount of uh, veggies you can get. The bottom's a little bit stalky, so they're a bit small. Oh, that's the mint. Mm -hmm. so that's one, one little salad and then this one, you just pour salt. Don't be shy. Yep. Um, apple cider vinegar. I know that they're weak, but you can really Nice. That's about it, really. You can put a little bit of olive oil if you want, but if you just mix all that through, and you'll see it'll kind of the cucumbers will go soft, and it'll kind of let it let let down a bit, and then yeah, it's just really nice, just like that, nice and fresh. And then we just need to chop up a bit of chili to go on the squid. She is so good. It's so funny because everyone used to say that when she was still sick. A bit of salt. Um, and, then and then we'll probably put a bit of lemon on just as it comes off the barbecue. Mm -hmm. Just mix all that through. Yep. Hitting the barbecue. Got the uh, the kids portion, which I think we probably will steal a bit of, and then we got the chili version. Okay, so we'll put on the we'll put on the plain one first, so it doesn't the chili doesn't go through it. So if we've done this right, put it on only for a few seconds each side, maybe like ten seconds each side, just because it's so fresh. You know what, I'll come around this side because I think uh, the camera is struggling blowing it out because the calamari is so white. <laughs> That's about all you want to really do. Yum. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> Just ever so lightly cooked. Yeah. Not chewy at all. Yum. Sweet, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, so you don't want to be scared to undercook it because I mean, you, you actually have it as sashimi, so you can have it raw and fine. So if you just like 10 seconds each side, just flip them over. And obviously, the real thin ones, probably even less than that, just a few seconds. Try a bit of that rod. Yeah, oh, well, I'll just. Oh! Chili it up. Well, I'll put the chili ones on. Yeah, um, this is literally my wife's favourite food. So I'm going to be in the good books today. <laughs> just so quick, huh? Just whip. Did <coughs> <laughs> you cop that as well? It's a little bit like uh, a bit like pepper spray. So <laughs> just want to be careful with that one. <laughs> Yum though. So that's it. We'll put the rest of those salads together real quick. Awesome. Can we know that, yeah? that looks really good now. You can see all that vinegar and everything soaked in. And on this one we'll put a bit of olive oil. I saw your truck. 
Yeah. How good is this looking? Oh, yeah. Chili, and then you can have some cucumber salad. Can I grab your honey? Alright, the kids are sorted. Alright. Now, let's focus on the real, the real deal. Looks delicious, Mark. So, we didn't catch the ham and we didn't catch the uh, bread. <laughs> the bread. <laughs> but everything else, else is. Right in court. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. Delicious. <laughs> All right, let's eat, guys. Just get a bit of that, bit of that mint freshness on the chili. Don't go too big. Try and, try and fit it all in.